Okay, this is a late 1960s Elka Panther 300 combo organ, also known as the Elka Capri, made in Italy. Today we are playing it through a 1970s Polytone Mini Brute solid state combo amp. Um, this organ has a really, really full sound and a really good feature set, so I think it's one of the more richly featured single manual combo organs. Um, so let me just talk about the bass for a second. The bass is fully polyphonic. Um, it has a couple of its own filter options that so can give it different sounds. It has its own volume control and it is designed with a, um, a stereo output so that you can split the bass and the rest of it into two different amps, but you can use a stereo to mono cable to plug it in through a single amp. Um, and the bass extension switch can be used to extend the bass filter sound into this gray section of the keyboard. Um, one of the special things about this organ is that you actually get three octaves of each note played with every key. So it has a very, very thick, full sound. And this mixer section here allows you to control how much of each octave. They're called footages, like an organ. 16 foot, 8 foot, 4 foot. Um, so this allows you to control how much is in your mix. Um, it has a really powerful vibrato with several options. Um, let's see. So this is the, the light, which means less deep, shallower, slow vibrato. So this is light and slow. This is heavy and slow, so it's deep and slow. This is light and fast. This is heavy and fast. Um, there's a lot of different filter options for each footage, and so you can really blend a lot of different sounds. So you can get like a really dark and mellow sound. This is not a dark and mellow sound, but you can get a dark and mellow sound. Um, are you just showing one octave at a time? Just make mix them up, make some different mixtures. So you can see it gets a lot brighter there when you add strings. Add oboe, or add what oboes are in. Okay. Yeah, but you can see you can really change it around a lot. mixture footages, which are kind of a special feature. These are odd footages, um, so they're not octaves, they're other harmonics. And they add sort of a, a bright, different sound too. And they come along with this tone decay feature, so those footages can decay with this envelope if you turn on tone decay. So that's something you, you sort of hear a lot with church organs where the, the amount of air being applied would suddenly drop off. That's sort of what that meant to imitate. Okay. And this organ is in pretty good cosmetic shape. It has some roughened up texture on the top, a couple of light scratches. There's like always this grayish grayishness along the um, music stand ridge, and we do have the music stand, but we don't have the legs. But um, other than that, it's in great shape, but we did have to do some 
electronic work to it. Um, we replaced all the electrolytic capacitors in the power supply and the preamp. We replaced the tone decay lamp. The tone decay is actually an optically controlled feature, so it uses an incandescent lamp, which we replaced. Um, we cleaned the bus bar to um, make all of the voices come through. Those are the bars that the key contacts send the keys, um, send the note signals to. Um, and we replaced a pair of transistors to fix an oscillator that wasn't working. But these kind of organs are so old, you know, there's always kind of different things going on. Um, and you just sort of have to, sometimes you have to clean things, sometimes you have to wiggle things back into place to keep them working great. <laughs> um, but all in all, this is kind of one of the better looking combo organs we've come across. And it does have an IEC connector in the back instead of the weird power connector that these organs normally have. And that was actually installed by someone else, but it works great. Is there anything else you would like to say, Darian? Okay, so this is the Elka Panther 300 that we have for sale. Thanks for watching.